hello, Illinois. It is great to be back in the land of Lincoln with men and women who helped elect a Congress and a president who enacted historic tax cuts that are putting America first. Thank you for being here. And speaking of which, I bring greetings from a man who um, just finished tea with the Queen. <laughs> the man who made those tax cuts possible and a leader is fighting every day to deliver for the hardworking people of Illinois and all the people of America. I bring greetings from the 45th President of the United States of America, President Donald Trump. You know, to know the man is to know that President Trump is a man of his word, and he's a man of action. On Monday night, he delivered once again on a promise to appoint judges who will faithfully interpret the Constitution as written when he nominated Judge Brett Kavanaugh to be the next justice on the Supreme Court of the United States. I just love Illinois. You know, and on the world stage, just over the past two days, Americans witnessed our president demand that our NATO allies pay more for our common defense. You know, for too long, our NATO partners have now kept their commitment to spend 2 percent of their economies on defense. But thanks to President Trump's strong leadership and tough talk, our NATO allies are increasing spending. $33 billion last year and more to come. You know, when you look at what President Trump's done on the world stage this week, that's what American leadership looks like across the free world. It is. And you know, it's about leadership that I came here today, to the great state of Illinois. I appreciate you all coming out so much talk about the difference that this administration is making. It's making all across America. We're going to talk about that difference. But before I do, let me, uh, let me thank a couple of strong Illinois leaders who are tough enough to lead in Illinois, just like this president. First off, Governor Rauner. Governor Bruce Rauner, thank you for that great introduction. And more importantly, Governor Rauner, thanks for your record of leadership on behalf of working families all across Illinois. I'm here to tell you, your governor has been fighting to unshackle job creators and revitalize the economy here in Illinois, and people across the country are taking notice. Since Governor Bruce Rauner took office, businesses across this state have created over 192,000 new good-paying jobs. Governor Rauner vetoed Springfield Democrats' 32 percent income tax hike. And last month, as he just mentioned, thanks to Governor Rauner and the Supreme Court of the United States, public sector unions can no longer force non-union workers to pay dues against their will. This was a victory for freedom, a victory for working Americans, and every American is grateful. Join me in thanking Governor Bruce Rauner for his leadership one more time, would you?